Docker is a popular platform for containerizing applications, meaning it allows developers to package an application and all its dependencies into a self-contained container that can be easily deployed across different environments, such as development, testing, and production. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be going to take a look what Docker is, and also we are going to set up and configure Docker. To understand how Docker works, let's take a simple example of a web application that requires a specific version of the Python programming language and the Flask web framework to run. Without Docker, to run this application on a server, we would need to install Python and Flask and ensure that they are properly configured with the correct dependencies. This can be a time-consuming and error-prone process, especially if the server has different hardware or software configurations than the development environment. With Docker, we can package the web application and its dependencies into a self-contained unit called a container. Here's how the process would work. First, we create a Docker file, which is a script that describes the steps required to build a container image. The Docker file would specify that we need a specific version of Python and Flask, as well as any other dependencies required by the application. Then, we use the docker build command to build the container image based on the instructions in the docker file. This creates a snapshot of the application and its dependencies that can be easily reproduced on any machine that supports docker. Finally, we use the docker run command to start a container based on the image we just built. This starts the web application inside the container which is isolated from the host operating system and any other containers running on the same machine. With Docker, we can easily move the containerized application between different environments, such as development, testing, and production, without having to worry about differences in hardware or software configurations. For example, we can deploy the containerized web application to a production server simply by copying the container image to the server and running the docker run command. This ensures that the application runs in a consistent and predictable way, regardless of the underlying operating system or hardware. Now, let's take a look at its installation steps. Docker can be easily installed on any platform, but the purpose of our usage of Docker is to install multiple Docker containers for penetration testing and ethical hacking. So, we need a separate Linux platform. The best platform I prefer is Alpine Linux. Alpine Linux is a good choice for running Docker containers because of its small size, security features, efficient package manager, and compatibility with Docker. Here are the steps to install Alpine Linux on VirtualBox. Firstly, download Alpine Linux. Download the Alpine Linux ISO file from the official website. Choose the version that matches your system architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, create a new virtual machine. Open VirtualBox and click on the New button to create a new virtual machine. Give your virtual machine a name and select Linux as the type and other Linux, 64-bit, as the version. Now, allocate memory. In the memory section, allocate at least 512 megabytes of memory to the virtual machine. Now, create a virtual hard disk. In the hard disk section, select create a virtual hard disk now and allocate the disk size. A minimum of 8 gigabytes is recommended for Alpine Linux. Now, add the Alpine Linux ISO. In the storage section, Click on the empty CD icon and then click on the CD icon to the right of the optical drive drop-down. Select choose virtual optical disk file and browse to the location where you downloaded the Alpine Linux ISO. Select the ISO file and click open to add it to the virtual machine. Now, start the virtual machine. Click on the start button to start the virtual machine. The Alpine Linux automatically boots without any installation and asks for login. Input root as username to start for the first time. Now, we will have to set up Alpine. Run the setup Alpine command to start the command-based installation process. Now, follow the installation process. Choose the appropriate language and keyboard layout and its variant. 
Now, enter the system host name. If you want localhost as your host name, just hit enter. Next, set the network interface. No, need to change them all, just hit enter. Now, set the root password. You can accept the default options for most settings. Set the time zone. If you don't know your time zone, run the question mark for help. No need to change these, set it as default. Select an available mirror. If you want to add a new user, just type it here, but I don't want. Select Open SSH as your SSH server and allow root login to yes. Now, select an available disk, in my case SDA. We will use it as a system configuration. Now, type Y to erase the disk and start the installation. Finish the installation. Once the installation is complete, eject the Alpine Linux ISO. Now, restart the virtual machine. You should now see the Alpine Linux login prompt. These are the basic steps to install Alpine Linux on VirtualBox. Now, we are ready to install Docker within Alpine Linux. We can install Docker directly from here. But, let us first access Alpine Linux using SSH. Before that, take a look if your network might be connected with Bridge Adapter. To get access with SSH, you need to know the IP address of your virtual machine. Now, open the Windows PowerShell. Now type the SSH command along with the username and its associated IP address. Firstly, let me take a look if Docker has already been installed or not using the docker-version command. It seems to be like, Docker is not yet installed. To install Docker, run apk add docker command to install Docker. It seems to be like, we will have to add a package before installing. This is quite simple, open the repositories file using the vi text editor. Now, remove all the comments from the existing links to enable them all. Now, save it. Now, run the installation command to install Docker. Now, start the Docker service by running the service docker start command. Now, run the docker run hello world command to verify that docker is installed and running correctly. This will download a sample docker image and run a container from it. If everything is working correctly, you should see a message that says hello from docker, followed by some additional information about the container. That's it. You now have Docker installed and running on your Alpine Linux system. You can use the Docker command line interface to manage containers and images, or you can use a graphical user interface tool such as Portainer to manage Docker containers. If there have any doubts or queries related to this video, then write me a comment in my comment section.